get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm really excited. We have Tom Bilyeu. He's co-founder of Quest Nutrition, which was named the second fastest growing private company in America with over 1,400 employees and 57,000% growth. Tom's mission is to end metabolic disease, and we will see that, the, the passion, where that comes from early on in life. He also hosts a thought leadership show. I, you know, I really encourage anyone to check it out. It's called Inside Quest, where he features people like Tim Ferriss, Russell Simmons, Tony Robbins, many more. And if you want to get out of the matrix, you have to listen to Tom. Tom, thanks for joining me. Man, thanks for having me. It's really an honor to be here. So, you know, since it's Inspired Insider, Tom, I always ask... Uh, what's been the lowest point and then how you push through that tough time? Well, I've had low points where it was truly dark and I've had low points where I had absolutely no doubt whatsoever that I would come out the other side. Mm. So um, my lowest point was when I quit Awareness Technologies. That, mm. that was um, just, whoo, uh, I had allowed myself to believe in a foolish thing, which is that money is yeah. an end in and of itself. Yeah. And once you realize that money has purpose and when it's purpose driven, then it is, it is all the things people think of when they think of money. Because here's the thing, wealth creation is amazing. Money will change your life. But the only thing money is good for is facilitating something else. So until you know what you want money to facilitate, it, it will be so soul draining. Yeah. But when you know, okay, I'm gonna build wealth in service of delivering value, right? Yeah. Like I don't want to dime from anybody ever unless yeah. I've delivered more value than what else they could be spending that dime yeah. on, right? Yeah. I want to earn that. Yeah. So when you do that and you're like, I'm delivering value to these people's lives, I believe in what I'm doing, then you've got a real shot at making some money. And I know, like, I want to put my money to use serving the world. So that's why the vast majority of my net worth is tied up in Quest, because I really believe Quest is the most powerful vehicle to help people both physically and emotionally with Inside Quest. So yeah. it's like, that, that to me is a no-brainer. Yeah. Um, so, and then there's been times at the beginning of Quest when I already had the growth mindset. I was totally in. I knew what I was trying to do with my life. And I was just so willing to fight to make Quest a success yeah. that, dude, learning how to manufacture when you don't know is hard. It is unbelievably difficult. And just every problem you can imagine comes out yeah. of the woodwork. So there were some incredibly low points where it just seemed like, gosh, man, are we ever going to get to the other side of this tunnel where we can actually get efficient at manufacturing? Yeah. But even in the darkest, darkest days of that, there yeah. was there was no sense of hopelessness. There was yeah. no sense of being lost. I knew exactly what to do. Pushing through was easy because there's no fear of what's on the other side, right? right. I know I'm going to get there. I yeah. will survive. I will push yeah. through this. This problem will buckle under the weight of my will. When yeah. you're there, it's, it's very different. Yeah. So what was the biggest sacrifice when you look back in awareness technologies days that you like, I can't believe I didn't go to that anniversary take, or what? I, was there? You know I neglected I mean? my wife in, in, in a thousand just overall. Weeks. A thousand ways big and small. I could pick any one yeah. anniversary and just say that one. But um, yeah, and my wife is somebody who I no longer take for granted. She is very clearly my number one priority. She's the absolute yeah. center of my universe, and I yeah. act in accordance yeah. with that. So, Tom, on the flip side, the proudest moment? Just ever? Yeah. Business, personal. I have two that I want to talk about with you, um, but yeah. Um, I, I'm proud of things. So when we were named as the second fastest growing company in North America and we had done it entirely in service of other people um, and just gutting it out, sheer force of will after my wife saying she bets on me. I mean like all of those things culminating in one and standing there mm -hmm. with it was 
my two brothers, Mike and Ron, you know, at least my, my spiritual brothers, right. Mike and Ron, my wife who just means the absolute world to me, and then uh, Ron's wife, Shannon, and Mike's wife, Kay, just like those five people outside of my immediate family, those five people are the most important people in my life. And to share that night with them, the award ceremony, yeah. it, it, we've just all become the people we needed to become to, mm. to be standing there and to have done it together as a team and for there to be so much love. Like, oh, I know that sounds so cheesy, but dude, for me, like that was just incredible. It was a culmination of everything. There's sure. two I had written down which is one, because it kind of comes from your early mission, which is one, your sister chain, making a big change, right? Yeah. Uh, and the, I would never say that's one of the things I'm most proud of because she owns that. Like right. That woman, that woman has transformed herself as a human being. She'll be the first to tell you that we were the catalyst for that change. Yeah. But, dude, she made all the hard decisions. She right. showed up. Sure, she ate sure. the right things. She worked out. It's, I, I'm honored by that. She's yeah. amazing. That's kind of like the end result of your mission, you know. I mean, people have to take it in their own hands, but for sure. But yeah, and the other one is there's an interesting story. I was listening to it that you there was a study done with dogs. Yeah, what, what, tell about talk about that for a second. All right, that's man, this, really cool. This is all right. This this is what you want to really understand. Quest then understand epigenics. So my business partner Ron. So we started the company for three very different reasons. For me, it's about helping people. Plain and simple. That's it. Like. I am so wired to be uh, empathetic and just seeing other people do something amazing is incredible. Yeah. My business partner, Ron, is really fascinated by uh, puzzles, challenges, and he wants to understand metabolism and crack some of these mysteries that other people have sort of given up on or they're looking in the wrong direction. So yeah. um, he read this book and in the book they talk about the Warburg effect and the Warburg effect is that cancer cells can only burn glucose, they can't burn fat. So the human body can burn fat or, or glucose, it can do either. Uh, but cancer cells share a mutation that makes it impossible for them to burn fat. So Warburg in 1926 put out the, the hypothesis that, well if that's true then you should be able to starve the cancer cell uh, dietarily and not right. eat things that contain glucose and, right. and it should die. Yeah. But nobody's done anything with that because there's no um, financial pot of rainbow or no financial right. pot of gold at the end of that rainbow which is there's nothing to patent there's no drug it's just diet so right. Ron read that and was like wait a second somebody's gotta get on this he starts researching he realizes that there's researchers out there that are looking at this but they're so woefully underfunded so we found Epigenics which is our nonprofit mm. all to fund this research to find out if you can from a dietary perspective really end cancer and the, um, one of the things that Epigenics funded is this thing called Keto Pet Sanctuary. Keto yeah. Pet Sanctuary took dogs with naturally occurring cancers. Yeah. They were on kill lists at shelters because they thought there's nothing we can do with these dogs. Right. And we said, well, if the Warburg effect is true, we should be able to stop the cancer in these dogs. So right. we brought them in. We use human level, human level diagnostics on these dogs, um, PET CT scans, biopsies, histologies, the whole nine to find out they really do have cancer. We document that. And then we treat them with a dietary protocol. Now, ketogenics, for those who don't know, very simply, a ketogenic diet is high fat, low protein, virtually no carbohydrate. So um, if you think of, uh, uh, like, we have a bunch of ketogenic products on Quest Labs. If anybody wants to sign up for Quest Labs, it's online only. Uh, but go to questnutrition.com forward slash Quest Labs. Yeah. And learn all about ketogenics there. Uh, but we have a bunch of products that range from 2 to 1 to 4 to 1. And the two to one products mean for every combined gram of protein and carbohydrate that you eat, you eat two grams of fat on the, the two to one mm -hmm. and or four if you're doing four to one. Yeah. Um, and but they taste like candy bars, peanut butter cups, right. uh, yeah, all kinds of right. amazing, amazing products. Um, and and we really believe and look, we're super cautious. People should read the literature for themselves. Right, right. We don't, we're not making any claims. Like people need to go see just from a metabolic standpoint what yeah. triggers this that may, may, may make ketogenics the most potent right. um, weapon in the fight against cancer. Yeah. But just to talk sort of data for a second, the, I think we've had just under 50 dogs go through our program. Again, this is with human level diagnostics, PET CT scans. We put them, we're the only people in the world doing that on canines. Right, right. Um, and showing that these dogs are, um, 
Well, the one thing that I can say across the board on all dogs, not a single dog has had a case of metastasis. Mm. So even if that's as far as ketogenics right. goes, that it stops cancer from metastasizing, right. it would be the biggest breakthrough in, in cancer treatment since chemotherapy. There mm. may be more, and, and this will all come yeah. out. Yeah. We've had some dogs go actually pet negative, meaning they, they, you put them in a pet scan and they test positive for cancer. Uh, and then after a dietary protocol, they end up testing negative in a PET scan. Yeah. So incredibly, incredibly encouraging signs coming out. We're going to be publishing the study that we did on the canines. Yeah. Uh, we're now moving into human trials. Again, this is all yeah. through epigenics. But moving into human trials, be very yeah. interesting to see what the results are there. It's yeah. just, again, it's incredibly early. We're not making any claims. Right. Who knows if, if the data holds. And sure. I, I really do hate that I have to say all that. Yeah. I'd love to just show my enthusiasm. But yeah. we're super cautious. Sure. Um, we want people to make decisions for themselves, to go yeah. out, read the literature, learn about it. Yeah. But the great thing about ketogenic is it, it's not faith-based, right? right? All you need to do is t take your blood levels. Eat, test your blood. Where's your blood sugar? Where are your ketones? And you keep those in a certain yeah. ratio. That's what we've done with the dogs to see the results. Humans should try it on themselves, see yeah. where they go. Yeah. Um, it's, it's incredibly potent. Tom, I got excited when I heard that. So I'm going to be excited, enthusiastic, even though you have to put all the disclaimers in now. Yeah. So thank you for everything you're doing, Tom. It's amazing. Where should we point people towards so they check out more about you, you know, your show, and then all the nutrition? Yeah, so there's two. Go to InsideQuest.com to learn about InsideQuest. Or you can go straight to YouTube, YouTube.com forward slash InsideQuest. But check out the show. And then on the uh, body side, the cancer side, all of that stuff, it's questnutrition.com. Yeah. And then you get both sides of the equation. Tom, fantastic. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Thanks for having me on. It was really an honor. I appreciate yeah, it. Thanks. All right. Take care. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire. Came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand right now. I'm feeling like a hundred grand.